did a previous tendon fenestration on him or so like a month and a half ago. It didn't really have much of an effect. He is going to get an injection today. In fact, he's going to do cortisone, which I tried to, you know, explain the risks of cortisone versus platelet-rich plasma, which is my preference, but due to just other reasons, he just decided with cortisone, which, you know, again, runs the risk of weakening the tendon. But um, as long as you don't get too much, at least you try to minimize that risk. Here we're going to show a model of this ultrasound guided cortisone injection over the common extensor tendon. We're just trying to get the injectate just superficial to the tendon, which you can see here, the injectate coming out of the needle, just superficial essentially to the extensor carpi radialis brevis tendon and the common extensor tendon in general. And here's a little close up view. Again, you can appreciate the needle just superficial to the tendon and not within the tendon itself. Here you can see the needle. This is a very superficial procedure and uh, pretty easy in the fact that the needle is just under the probe and parallel to the probe, so you can get a pretty good view of the needle. Here we're using a 22 gauge needle. Uh, there may be some calcification at the insertion of the common extensor tendon versus some irregularity of the lateral pecondyle. Trying to get the injectate right above the tendon. I don't want to really inject too much in it. Here again, you can see the needle just superficial to the common extensor tendon. I'm just trying to bathe the actual surface of the tendon with the mixture of saline and cortisone, as I do not want to inject the tendon itself with cortisone, which can possibly further weaken the tendon. I'm not doing any kind of tendon fenestration in conjunction with cortisone, which again can further weaken the tendon. Here you can see air from the ejectate and basically confirming that we're bathing that superficial surface of the common extensor tendon with the cortisone and saline mixture.